All right, we're continuing to talk about linear equations, looking at word problems, and this time we're going to look at point-slope form. All right, just a refresher, point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It's always good to know what the formula is that you're going to be working with. All right, use when the problem gives a sample point and a rate of change. So in each of these problems, we're going to be given a point and a rate of change. So the first thing we need to do is determine what is our point and what is our slope. All right, let's look at the first problem, number nine. At Eagle Bay, it costs $12 per hour. All right, per hour means that's our rate of change, okay? It costs $12 per hour to rent a canoe Nate and his friends rented a canoe for four hours and paid $68. So four hours, $68. All right, the cost depends on the number of hours. So hours is your independent variable. Um, how much you paid is your dependent variable. So we can say that our slope is the $12 per hour and our point is four and 68. So that gives us the information to start with. Now we have to plug it into this formula up here. So our x and our y goes into our x1, y1. And then of course the m, the slope, goes in front of the parentheses. So that's what we're going to put there. All right, so we're going to use our equation y minus our y value so remember it's x then y, so y is 68, equals our slope, which in this case is 12, times x minus, that's part of the equation, x1, so our x value is 4. All right, now you just want to clean this up a little bit, so you're going to use distributive property to get rid of the parentheses. y minus 68 equals 12 times x and then 12 times negative 4. And then we can add 68 to the other side. And this puts it in another form, slope-intercept form, which we talked about earlier. All right, so negative 48 plus 68 is positive 20. All right, now that we have our equation, let's go back and see what the question asks us again. Write and solve a linear equation to find the cost to rent the canoe for seven hours. All right, so we were given four hours and the cost was $68 to rent it for four hours. Now they're asking us to solve it for seven hours. We can see that the number of hours is our x, so all we have to do is take the seven and plug it in for x. So y equals 12 times 7 and then plus 20. So all I did was take the 7 and substitute it for x here. And then when I simplify, I get $104. So if I rent a canoe for 7 hours, it's going to cost me $104. So you would have actually another ordered pair there if you wanted to write it that way. But your answer would be $104 to answer the question here. All right, let's look at another um, example. So number 10, a construction company charges $18 per hour. Again, that's our slope. $18 per hour for debris removal, plus a one-time fee for the use of a trash dumpster. The total fee for eight hours of service was $219. Again, the amount of time spent is independent. The amount it costs depends on how many hours it took. So that is our eight hours would be our independent variable. $219 is our dependent, the cost depends on how many hours they work. 
All right, so again, we're doing slope intercept. So I'm going to do y minus, my y is my second number in my ordered pair. So 219 equals my slope times x minus x1, which is 8 in this case. All right, so simplify or clean this up a little bit. Y minus 219, let's distribute. 18 times x. And 18 times negative 8. What is 18 times negative 8? All right, negative 144. Now I need to add 219 to both sides. So y equals, this cancels, 18x. And then negative 144 plus 219 equals... $75. All right, so this says a construction company charges $18 per hour for debris removal plus a one-time fee. Okay, this right here should clue you in that the one-time fee, that would be your starting point. But if you don't recognize that, you could say, okay, well, write and solve a linear equation to find the one-time fee for the trash dumpster. Well, we're not having um, debris removed. All we're doing is having the trash emptied. So we're going to have zero hours for debris removal and plus 75. So we're just plugging in zero here. So y equals 75. So that one time fee is your starting point. All right, the next example says a company offers premium cable for $39.95 per month. That's actually pretty cheap for premium cable. All right, plus a one-time setup fee. The total cost for setup and six months of service is $264.70. So six months, $264. So we can say our slope is how much per month? $39.95. And our ordered pair, or our point that we give, is six months is our time. The cost depends on the time. So that's our, six is our independent. The cost is our dependent. All right. All right. Write and solve a linear equation to find the cost of two years of service. So first we need to plug it into our equation. Y minus our Y value. So 264.70. My handwriting on paper is so much better. I hope you guys can read this. All right, so Y minus Y equals slope. Um, times x minus x1. x is our 6. All right, again, we're just going to clean it up a bit, get rid of our parentheses, 264. All right, distributive property. All right, 39.95 times 6. Let me see what that is. Negative 239.70. Okay, I'm going to add 264.70. So y equals 39.95x and then negative 239.70 plus 264.70. Oh. A nice $25. All right, so again, that would be our startup fee. That's our starting point. All right. All right, so let's back up and see. A company offers premium cable for $39.95 a month. All right, good to know. 
All right, it says write and solve a linear equation to find the total cost for two years. All right, so the first thing you need to know is what number do we plug in for x? Well, if you plug in 2, um, that's not going to give you the correct answer because we wrote our equation in terms of months. So our time is in months. So you first have to figure out how many months are in two years. Um, I'm going to write down here at the bottom. Don't worry about this equation yet. We'll look at it in a minute. All right, so I've got y equals 3995x plus 25. y equals 3995 per month. And two years equals 24 months. And then you sim simplify that. And that will tell you how much it costs for two years of service. So all of that is $983.80. So for two years of premium cable, you can get that for $983.80. All right, guys, one last example on point slope equation. All right, a home security company provides secure, uh, security systems for $5 per week plus an installation fee. The total cost for 12 weeks of service is $210. Write and solve a linear equation to find the cost of the installation fee. All right, so $5 per week, that's our rate of change. So $5 per week is our slope. We're going to do 12 weeks for $210. We're going to plug that in. Our Y is 210. Our slope is 5, and x minus 12. All right, so we're going to quickly simplify this. y minus 210 equals 5x minus 60. And then I'm going to add 210. All right, negative 60 plus 210, that's 150. All right, so again, to find our installation fee, that's going to be the starting cost or at um, week zero because you haven't used um, any service yet. So y equals 5 times 0 plus... 150, y equals $150 for the installation fee.